there's no absence of innovation and people thinking creatively. It's the absence of knowing what to do about it and, and where to place it and how to run with it. And what you need for that is a structure. How do you structure people's brains? And I wouldn't ever be able to do that, but idea droppers found a way. And it should be something that every company should be doing. You should make a platform where people can feel like that they can tell you how to make your company better. There's a lot of noise um, in the marketplace right now around innovation, um, and that's driven from a number of reasons, really. Um, obviously, technology plays into that um, hugely. Um, there's, there's massive changes in legal technology which are available and enable us to do things in a different way. Um, but, but continuous improvement um, is what innovation used to be called. Um, but now step changes are being made in the industry as a result of some of the tools that are available to us. We're not just a company that can, you know, small or large, that can just make a commercial decision and run with it. Um, we're regulated by the SRA, um, the Solicitors Regulation Authority, and the problem with that is you can only be as innovative as your regulator. So, you know, we have we can often come to issues with the SRA in that emerging technologies they they don't understand. A lot of people don't understand, but if they can't understand it properly. They can't regulate against it and that means that we can't then take on something because it hasn't been regulated so it's too risky. In terms of um, a culture of innovation, I mean it really has to be driven from the top, from the senior leadership team all the way through, um, all the way through management. But also in terms of having support for ideas that are generated and a proper process for taking ideas through, um, testing them, seeing what works and when they don't work reflecting on what hasn't worked and seeing where it's taken you in the innovation journey and what you've learned from that and how it can take you forward in terms of the next step. No legal problem is ever the same and this is partly what lawyers have preyed on for a long time is that every, every problem that they have is slightly different so it requires a, a human touch, it requires knowledge and expertise and actually 90% of what they do is remarkably similar and that's the foundation work of what, of what a lawyer does but it's that 10% that can be the difference between someone losing a million pounds and someone getting 20 million that tiny tiny little bit and the problem is with no technology lawyers still have to do 100% of the work whereas if we had AI technology that was actually reliable at the moment it's still a bit iffy and it's still going through its learning processes as it should do um, if we had more legal technologies to do that 90%, we could actually charge more for that 10%. It's actually a commercial advantage to us to get those technologies into our firms. There's always going to be that 10% that you're going to need hand-holding or a human being or someone to understand what you want because often what companies want isn't logical. It isn't solution-based. Sometimes they don't know what they want, but 90% can be done by a machine. I think the shape of the legal profession will evolve and change over time. Um, the skill set of the people in law firms will change. Um, we're already seeing some of that now, but I think that will escalate in terms of um, not only the technical legal skills that, that people need, um, obviously the relationship skills will remain very important, but also the skills that are needed to deliver excellent service. So thinking about the disaggregation of legal services, the deployment of legal project managers, the deployment of intelligent um, technology to help lawyers do what they, they do. But also in terms of the makeup of the profession, the types of people that are, are coming through, already it's very di um, more diverse than it was historically. Obviously the legal profession still has a long way to go, um, but, but certainly um, in a number of legal firms, particularly ours, um, you can see that the senior leadership team are taking steps to ensure that there is a properly diverse um, population within our organisation. <laughs>